Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with a 12-box break of 2019 Bowman Baseball's Hobby Edition. Pick your team number six from Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. There it is right here on the 19th. Pick your team six, 2019 Bowman Baseball. Thanks, everybody, for getting into it. Nancy with the last spot mojo with the Royals. There it is right there. Good luck, everyone. This is our last break of the night. This brings us right to the end of the broadcast. Anything else that is filled up will break tomorrow. People were buying early and often. Yeah, Garrett, if that black gold sold out, we'll be doing that tomorrow. Sorry about that. Yeah, we just got we just got booked up. Yeah, this this break brings us right to the eleven o'clock time slot, which is where we usually end the show. I think it's a good stopping point. I'm sure I'll be pretty exhausted after this break at this point of the night, too. All right. But Nick is going on a little bit earlier tomorrow, around 2 o'clock Pacific, to knock out, I think, another Bowman break it sold out. So he might knock out that Bowman break and maybe even that black gold before I get here. And then, we, then we'll launch into more Bowman, more Flawless, all that stuff. So it should be should be a another jam packed day tomorrow on Friday. Got a little fly flying around here. Get out of your shoe fly. Got a break to do. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Box number one. All right, awesome, Garrett. Thank you for your understanding. I'll see you tomorrow. Be a good day tomorrow too. And then we got, then we still have Saturday together, ladies and gentlemen. We got Friday and Saturday. It's gonna be a busy week. I almost thought today was Friday. I'm all thrown off by all this Bowman. Time, time just seems to speed up and stand still when you're doing Bowman baseball, ladies and gentlemen. But in spite in spite of how long it takes, I think there's I mean there's a there's a reason why people are doing buying team, so many teams in these breaks, right? The reason why so many of these breaks are filling, in spite of how long it takes, because there could be there's quite a bit of prospecting to do here. A lot of monsters inside here, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're looking for: monsters, monster hunting. This is the Big Hit Express Safari, monster hunting. We should be sponsored by Monster Energy Drink. Wow, what a Monster Energy Drink hit. The Monster Energy Big Hit Express brought to you by Monster Energy Drinks. Monster. Where are you at? We'll put a we'll put a we'll put a monster logo right right here, right over my shoulder. Put that put a little monster logo right there. I'll do it. We'll sell out to Monster. We have a drinking a big can of Monster right here. Put a little Monster Monster logo right over here. We got ideas, Monster. Generate a different revenue avenue. We'll fool them into thinking that we're influencers, social media influencers. All right, box one. Good luck, everybody. Try to move through these as quickly as we possibly can. Those are facsimile autographs, so even the camera's tired. There we go. There's Mike Trout. So in, in the hobby uh, versions, these Atomics are one per hobby box. So that goes to the Brew Crew. That'll be for Brian O. And there's only one auto per box. So by the end of the break, we should see 12 autos. Maybe a bonus. Bonus is a possibility.
We've seen it happen before, could happen again. And of course the orange are also, there's 23 out of 25, the orange paper is also exclusive to the hobby editions. Wait, what's the update? They just broke what when it filled? So they, they, they just did it at whatever time they wanted to, John? There's Fernando Tatis Jr. We have not seen his autograph yet to 499. That's for the Friars, Mark Matheson with the Padres. Corruption in the hobby, people breaking re new releases early when they're not supposed to. That's what they said, but did they do it earlier? Is that what you're saying, John? I'm sure it's, it's not that, it's not the end of the world. You didn't take part part in it, like out of what? Out, out of ethics, hobby ethics. And Ronaldo Hernandez is our first autograph going to Sean Hunter with the Tampa Bay Rays. Nice. First auto of 12. Um, we have not seen a super refractor yet. We saw a, a one of one printing plate, but not a super, let alone a super refractor autograph. Just haven't seen any kind of super fractor. So maybe we'll find one in this case right here. That's something to kind of look forward to. <laughs> it's unethical. You what about that? What about that Bowman? What about that Bowman box that you bought? From Freddy's. The blaster pack that they put out early. I don't know. I'm sure it's not a big deal. I think we were we were definitely tongue in cheek a little bit earlier today about that, but I don't know. In the spirit of the hobby, I think we like to do it on release day. We don't even have the cases. <laughs> we don't even we don't even get into the morning of anyway. But we have a we have a, a hub uh, in Southern California, so oftentimes we'll just pick them up, or they'll just get delivered to us in the morning. So in the spirit of. That's true. That was an honest mistake. Well, by by them and I'm sure with all the inventory that Freddy's has, I'm sure they're not thinking about when when the uh, when like a blaster box of Bowman baseball is supposed to be put out on the floor. I don't know the, the the breaking early thing. Like I don't really know how the how the how the uh, manufacturers would 
would police that, you know what I mean? Especially for shops that are probably only going to get one or two cases of flawless anyway. What are they going to do? Like threaten them with not allowing them any flawless? You know, of course they're always going to sell them at least one, right? So... Was that one of the encased cards, John? The safe one? All right. Box two. Another autograph coming up. Let's see what we got. There's Yuan Mankata to four ninety nine, and there is Matt Manning Atomic. Wow, that's a nice hit. Out of ten, in case. There's nine more for us to pull then. There is uh, Anthony Ziegler to 125 for the Yankees. Uh oh, is this late night confession? Since there's only, yeah, there's only 16 or 17 people watching. I guess you're kind of in a trust tree. Now right, we got some regulars here watching though, John. They might hold it against you. What if what if John Samuelson was like, man, you know who I don't like? Rich Schmidt and Rex. And it's like, oh wait, they're here. <laughs> um. No, uh, no supers, Rex. No, not even like a one of one paper. Nothing like that, I'm afraid. Out of five, yeah. A couple of those, but nothing, nothing, nothing significant after that. Your daughter is listening to BTS behind you on Alexa. What is BTS? I don't know if I know BTS. Is that a uh, is that a a Korean girl pop girl pop group? You think I have the power to change your Alexa from here, John? I don't know how. I don't know if you're listening on headphones or you're on speakers. I wonder if I could be like Alexa, play. Play Rage Against the Machine. And there's our autograph. We, oh, it's... We got Victor Mesa Jr. out of 4.99. Victor Mesa Jr. out of 4.99 for Rich Schmidt. Rich is actually looking for Victor Victor, but this is a start. It's a start. Oh, they are. See, I, I, I did. I, I kind of did figure it was a K-pop band. All right, there you go. I actually did not see them on SNL. Um, why are they weird? What, what's what's weird about uh, an Asian boy band, Rex? Is it weird because they're Asian, or is it weird because they're boys, or it's weird because are they weird because they're a band? Uh, Rick, Rich, they are brothers, and they are—they both got drafted by the Miami Marlins. 
Victor Mesa Jr. is actually a top 30 prospect, according to Baseball America, organizational prospect. Um, like, But his brother, Victor Victor, is like top five prospect or something like that. So this is the less good Victor Mesa, but but still like but still in the top 30. But they are brothers. Yeah, K K-pop is kind of that's a that's a dangerous rabbit hole, John Samuelson. K-pop is pretty infectious. It's like, wow, this movie's so happy. Or the song this song is so happy and upbeat. And kind of a kind of a, you know, a fun for you know, and a lot of them speak English too. They they drop like English verses in their in their songs. So there's like some English there so you're like, "Oh, I kind of understand this." You know? And everyone's uh I don't know, and there and all the all the all the pop groups in Korea are very stylized. So, so all all the men are like properly coiffed, you know, and all the girls are like super cute, you know. So it's crazy, crazy, I say. So trendsetter, what's going on? So that's that's uh, that's John Samuelson's confession, folks. That he is kind of getting into. Wait, how how old is your daughter? Is kind of getting into the uh, his daughter is kind of getting him into the uh, to the uh, BTS. For those of you in the know, in the know on K-pop stuff, it's funny because on if I listen to when Hyunjin Ru, South Korean pitcher Hyunjin Ru, when he starts. And I listen to games on the on Dodgers radio. Uh, when they come back from commercial to the whatever inning Hyunjin Ryu is about to pitch, whether it's the top or the bottom, whether they're home or away, um, before before he they, when they come back from commercial, when he's on the mound, they uh, they uh, play uh, they play like K-pop hits as like bumper music to go into the go back into the pitching Hyunjin Ryu pitching. It's a nice touch. So the fourth grader, fourth grader, all into the BTS. Sounds about right. It's fun music. K-pop's getting huge. Stateside. I think I think there's a K-pop group at Coachella. Transetters in the house, by the way. Eric Bailey's also in the house, saying they're saying Victor Victor, Chrome Auto is hard to come by. The early word on the street. We saw uh, we saw Victor Victor in another case already. Along with actually Victor Mesa Jr. and Victor Victor were in the same case, so I wonder if that'll happen in this case. Rex talking about the uh, Adam Sandler hosting SNL for the first time. It's the first time since he left. Was he fired? There's Logan Allen. Well, John, I appreciate that you that you were that you felt confident enough in your friends here in the group to uh, to share that with us. Wonder what Kim Jong Un thinks of what? I'm sure he enjoys K-pop too, <laughs> and his Western television, and all his delicious foods that he eats. Out of two fifty, Albert Abreu. For the Yankees, purple paper. Oh, you know what? Rex is gonna see him too, Eric. Eric Bailey saying he just saw Adam Sandler live stand up about a couple months ago. And he thought Rob Schneider was funnier than Sandler. Good show overall, but wasn't blown away. Yeah, Rex is seeing him too. I think that same same show. I feel like Adam Sandler definitely definitely uh went away from like like stand-up type stuff and was definitely more 
crafting his acting chops, right? While the other guys, I think, you know, other guys from that generation of, of comedians were still sticking with, were still doing like stand-up shows and doing stand-up specials and stuff like that. I think they were still doing like the, the stand-up circuit. Is Royce Lewis coming up soon? The twins. There's Logan Webb, purple chrome to two fifty. Giants with that one. Gigantes. We got Miguel Amaya. Purple Chrome autograph, 122 out of 250 for EA. Eric with the Cubbies. Nice. There's Cheater Downs, Dodgers edition. Seth Beer, mm, beer. And next box. Wait, what what's what's phone wallet keys, Rex? What is, that? what is that? Is that a bit? Because every day before I leave the house, I sing the Wallet Keys phone song. Wallet Keys phone, Wallet Keys phone. And I sing the Wallet Keys phone song before I leave the house so I know I have Wallet Keys and phone. Those are at least the three things I need. Everything else is, uh, you know, is not essential. I heard Seinfeld stand up is still strong. Eric Bailey. I think I think I think he did a uh, a brilliant job with the comedians and cars getting coffee. That's a great idea. Talk about cars and have like a pretty light kind of conversation with but real conversation with with people in these cars. Like the car is kind of disarming. Because you're just in there, you're just talking. Like you're on a road trip. I thought that was a brilliant idea. Oh, it's a rap song by Sandler. Nice. Yeah, I, I thought Sandler and Punch Drunk Love was really good too, John Sandlinson. Um, I like, uh, who is that? P.T. Anderson, I think. I like, I, I like P.T. Anderson films. Pictures. I like P.T. Anderson pictures. See? Next box. Yeah, that, yeah. You, you mentioned that the other night, Rex. I, th I think I think that's a cool one on the uh, on the uh, on the list. George Carlin in two thousand six. 
There's Jose Ramirez, 21 out of 25, orange paper for the tribe. Ryan L. with that one. Really like the orange color in these hobby sets. And Genesis Cabrera Atomic. That's for the Cardinals. That's going to go to TJ Bove. There's Matthew Libertor to 125 for the Rays. Kyle Tucker, Bowman Sterling. Bowman Sterling making its way back to the hobby, folks. Later this year, later this summer, I think. Jeter Downs for my Dodgers to 499. They got him in that whole Yasiel Puig. Matt Kemp, Alex Wood trade. And Homer Bailey, too, but they just release Homer Bailey. But yes, middle infielder. Kind of a big prospect for the Reds. Yeah, late first round pick, so could be interesting. You mean 2007, Rex? You saw him in 2006, but he was dead three months later in 2008. I think you're missing some months there. There's Victor Victor Mesa. Looking for his autograph. Oh, or Chrome Prospect Autograph, Refractor Parallel, Diego Cartaya. A Dodger Prospect. Sign your cards, Diego. Probably has like a bunch of cards sitting in his locker right now. So there you go, Dodgers. That's for Walter. My little Dodger Joe Mojo. Dodgers beat the Brewers today. 3 2 1 in Milwaukee. Blue Shimmer, 10 out of 150. Ryan Costello for the Twins. Nick Coba with that one. Oh, you're saying his special was the last one, 2008. Gotcha. Next box. So I had financial interest, ladies and gentlemen, the late, these two late games on the Reds. And the Reds won four to one. Good. I had financial interest in the Angels, and they were down a, a bunch of runs, but now it's 10 9. How did that happen? Well, what happened there? They still have the bottom of the eighth and the bottom of the ninth to win this one? That would be that'd be a, a, a lucky one for me. Let's get some Angels Radio going here. See what they got. Let's go, Angels Radio. Yeah. 
Wow, Angels put up a crooked number at the bottom of the seven, scoring seven runs in the bottom of the seven. They're cutting the lead down to 10 to nine now, down to a run. Maybe the Dodgers should have kept Homer Bailey, Eric Bailey. Eric Bailey with the Bailey report. On all on all sports figures named Bailey, saying, Don't look now, Homer Bailey is two and one with the Royals and signed a minimum a veteran one year deal. Yeah, he's actually looked pretty good in a couple starts. Right, and still gets the twenty eight million for this this season on his old deal. Man. To be Homer Bailey. That'll get you a Tesla. Or two. No relations to Eric Bailey. Eric Bailey does not want to be associated with overpriced, middling pitchers, mediocre pitchers. <laughs> According to Dave Schoenfeld, ESPN senior writer David Schoenfeld, he's saying the MVP race is on. Cody Bellinger homered earlier in the game, and Christian Yelich matched him in the tenth with his tenth home in the bottom of the ninth with a tenth home run. There you go. All right. All right. Next. There's the Atomic Adrian Morajon. Did you guys hear about Blake Snell? He's on the IL right now. He's on. I think he might be longer than the ten day. He fractured his one of his toes, coming out of the shower and moving like a a granite block or something like that. Some decorative block that was there and like held by some sort of pole or something like that, which fell over right on his toe, breaking his toe. Like one of the, not like his big toe, but like a middle toe or something like that. That's a random way to, what are, there's got to be, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but what are some other random, uh, there's Asturia Ruiz, what are some other random baseball player, or just any athlete, random athlete injuries? I remember someone saying that, that he had, that a baseball player had strained something, like they reaching across and then digging for a remote or something like that, I remember that, remote control. You know, so there's Carter Kaiboom to 125. No, actually, Nick Jaspi, for like yesterday and today, he did all the pack ripping for for like four cases, two yes, two or three yesterday, and like another two today. So he he's been doing it. He's been helping me out early. I think he's only done one case solo, though. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Trevor Bauer cut his hand 
playing with a drone. Wasn't that be like right before the playoffs too? Playoffs. Or like made him miss a playoff start or some sort of key start down the stretch. I feel like it was at an important time. There's I, there's like another player I remember who said he like got some sort of oblique strain like in the shower, like trying to like, you know, Excellent. trying to clean his back or something like that. This is nice atomic autograph. Eli Morgan, eighty-seven out of one hundred. That's enough, Eli. Isn't maybe... the Eli the character in There'll Be Blood? I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. This injury is not, not as funny, but it was just kind of, kind of like, man, like that's such a random thing. Remember when, uh, when Sal last year, Salvador Perez was taking like luggage up the stairs and had like missed a step and then like destroyed his eight knee or something like that and was out for like two months. There's that too. That's not necessarily funny, but it was just like, come on, that sucks. Just going up the stairs, just came back home. box after this box we're halfway to home folks we're halfway there this is our last break of the night folks Nick Jaspi will be going on a little bit early tomorrow around 2 or 2 30 LA time Pacific 5 5 30 East Coast time 4 4 30 Central Coast time and I think he's got a couple breaks that have sold out that he'll be doing. I think a, a Bowman Jumbo might have sold out through through this evening. Maybe some Black Gold football or something like that. Something sold out. But he'll be doing those two breaks. Then I should be in about a little bit after that. Help him finish off those breaks. And then we'll dive into some flawless and maybe another case or two of Bowman baseball. All right, good luck, folks. Here is the next one. Oh, you guys remember the? Do you guys remember the uh, Jeff Kent? The Jeff Kent injury, and he like lied about it too. I think he said he had just fell or something like that. He said he fell off. Uh, there's a uh, Jonathan Loisega to 4.99 paper. He said he was uh, washing his truck. He was like on like a on like a, a ladder or something like that, washing the top of his truck, and he slipped and he fell and he hurt himself or something like that. But he was like out riding ATVs or motorcycles or something like that. There's Asturia Ruiz Atomic. Oh man, he, he might Eric Bailey. He might just jump in on that flawless. It's like, oh, I just got Flawless started. You can just knock out that Bowman Jumbo real quick. <laughs> Jumbos are actually not that bad. Jumbo solo would take me like a little over an hour, hour 10, hour 15. Um, hobbies definitely take me like a solid hour 30. <laughs> There's uh, Ronnie Mauricio to 499 for the Mets. And the hobbies take a little bit of t extra time. Just a few more packs to open. That just adds a few, few seconds to each pack, to each box. And the next thing you know, those seconds turn into minutes. Thank you. 
one. That's the year they won 116 games. It's Carter Kaiboom to 299, Speckle. And that's pretty cool. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Atomic, ready for the show insert to 150. That's for the Blue Jays. That goes to Darren McKenzie. We have not seen a Vlad Guerrero Jr. auto yet, Darren. I feel like we're due. Madison Bumgarner also had a weird injury, right? He, he, there's also another motorcycle situation. And the next autograph is Miguel Amaya, EA, with the Cubs. It's got to be soon, right? I saw him yesterday. Saw a highlight yesterday of him hitting like a 430-foot bomb in AAA. There's nothing that Vlad Guerrero Jr. There's nothing left for him to prove in AAA. If he's just crushing that pitching, it's not like he's struggling. Seems like he's healthy. Any of the the oblique issues are gone. The you know the Blue Jays have waited the requisite amount of time to make sure that they have another year of control of contract control of Vlad Guerrero. Call him up. Their season's going nowhere. Although I think they won tonight. They beat the Twins tonight. But you know, I mean, AL East is rough. They're, they're not going to... Let's let's get some Vlad Guerrero Jr. in there. Let's put some butts in seats. Vlad Guerrero Jr. versus El that's your That's your AL... That's your AL Rookie of the Year ace right there. Right? That's your AL Rookie of the Year race right there. Call, call him up. Let's get some excitement going in, in Toronto. Let's get some. Let's get the. Let's get the hobby jazzed for for Vlad Guerrero Jr. For now, Tatis Jr. is already crushing. But it's got to be like another week. So, I mean, it's just a matter of time for Black Road Jr., I think. Exactly, yeah. Still early in the season. Plenty of time for a rookie to win that rookie of the year. Yeah, I don't think I don't think uh, when Cody Bellinger won it a couple of years ago, I don't think he was called up until like right around now. Like, remember it was like late late April, eighteen ish, twenty ish, twenty three ish around there. April twenty three ish around there. I think it was a series in, in in San Francisco. And yeah, I mean he got called up and didn't look back.
touchdown of a bases loaded jam that he's created with three walks in the inning. Here's the pitch on Gordon, and he wings and misses that one. All right, next box. Just looking up Eloy Jimenez and Fernando Tatis Jr. stats. So thus far this season, Fernando Tatis Jr. is batting 294, five home runs, 12 RBIs. There's a uh, rookie of the year favorites, Christian Stewart, to 50. Shows shown a little pop for the Tigers here and there. And there's Justin Dunn, Atomic. So yeah, he has. Hitting 294, five home runs, 12 RBIs, five walks. He's got an OPS of 929, which is pretty strong. Anywhere north of that, what, seven, 800 range is definitely strong. That's Fernando Tatis Jr. in the NL. Eloy Jimenez's uh, average isn't quite there, 261. Three home runs, eight RBIs, five walks, 22 strikeouts, OPS of 740, which is still good. Ooh, Angels get out of that, that inning. But yeah, so I mean, you know, Elo Him is having a strong season, probably a rookie of the year season, but nothing that's, you know, he's not lighting it up enough to run away with it yet. So Vlad Guerrero Jr. could easily come in and just rake and make it a make it a race for AL Rookie of the Year. There's Corey Ray to 4.99. Tatis Jr. is strong. He's you're a rookie. You're batting 2.94, but batting almost 300 as a rookie, a 9.29 OPS. Great in the field too, making a lot of good good plays in the uh, as a shortstop. And so when and if Tatis Jr. slumps, that glove will still keep him in the lineup. You know what I mean? So he can still contribute there. Five out of five, Cole Reagans. Look at that. E A with the Rangers, red paper. Five out of five, a late night train whistle. No ink, but. Pretty nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! I'll set that right over there along with the other parallels. Still have not seen a Super Fractor. Not seen a one of one paper or anything like that. But maybe, maybe we're getting closer to that. Gavin Lux playing well in the minors for the Dodgers. Oh, there's our auto, Jonathan Hernandez. Nice, so a Cub for EA. The 5 out of 5 Ranger for EA, and now Jonathan Hernandez autograph for EA. He's heating up. He's on fire. According to NBA Jam rules. There's the focus. All right, let's go. All right, next box. We are well into the second half of this case. Five boxes to go. Thanks for staying up late with us. We should This should be done by the top of the hour, which is right when we usually end the show, 11 o'clock Pacific. We'll, we will be back tomorrow. A little on the earlier side, Nick Jaspi will be kicking things off uh, with some of the breaks that sold out tonight.
Wow. What's David Fletcher doing hitting home runs? I have financial interest in the Angels, which is why we're listening to this broadcast. Oh, the light hitting David Fletcher. Ties it at 10. All right, all right. Now they're cooking, folks. Who's up next? Ooh, it's Calhoun, Mike Trout, Antron Simmons. Bottom of the eighth. Score, score, score the go ahead run here. Get uh, Cam Bedrosian to close out the top of the ninth. They're playing in LA or in Anaheim. That's the game. Maybe maybe Joe gets uh, gets a tiny bit wealthier. I've had a pretty good last few days, picks-wise. one good luck this is uh pick your team six hobby edition oh, calhoun walks he's on first mike trout And we've got El Elujurius Montero, 40 out of 299, Sparkle, or Speckle, I think they is the official name. Elujurius Montero going to TJ Bove and the Cardinals. Nice one for the nice looking one for the Redbirds. Sean Murphy for the A's to 150. Uh, Witt with that one. Hmm. Trout flies out. Everything the club went through last night, right. getting 
Kevin Pillar to 250, purple paper. Gavin Lux, Atomic for my Dodgers. Walter with my Dodgers. Kevin Pillar going to the Blue Jays, Darren McKenzie. And we got Chad Spangenberger at a 75 chrome. And there's Chad again to 150. Paper, blue paper this time. Uh, I pulled one in the last break, Eric Bailey. One Joey Bart Otto. Yeah, pretty good auto. We, had, we pulled the Eloy Jimenez autograph out of the last case too, I think. So the only guy we haven't seen yet is um, Vlad Guerrero Jr. and Fernando Tatis Jr., the juniors. I'm sure they're like short printed and stuff, but still. So you remember the uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. Eloy Jimenez stats, right? They were like pretty good stats, right? Mike Trout, he's hitting 366 with five home runs, 12 RBIs, more walks than strikeouts, 17 walks, five strikeouts, one stolen base, and a 1.352 OPS. So those kids have a little ways to go to get to Trout level. It's pretty incredible. Albert Pujols up to bat. Kind of sucks seeing Albert Pujols now. He makes you for he makes you kind of forget just how you know recency bias, right? He makes you forget how amazing he was for all, such a long time in in St. Louis. There's Taylor Trammell, purple paper to two fifty. Did I see the Joey Votto stat? Yeah, I actually heard it on the uh, 
I was driving to work, actually. I was driving here to the shop, and it was on the Dodgers post-game show. There's J.D. Martinez to 150, blue paper, where it was the first time in his career, there's MJ Melendez, that he popped out to the first baseman or something like that. And like just infield pop-outs just, is just rare for him in his career. I think it's like under 20 infield pop-outs. Oh, there you go, Eric Bailey. You got the exact stat. Ah, so it was actually 1,592 games since he last popped out to first base. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I thought it was his first time. But but yeah, I mean, that might that may as well be the first time in his career. <laughs> 6,882 at-bats. And first time you pop out to first base. Or and you, then you popped out to first base. And there's 6,000, almost 7,000 ABs in between. There's Taylor Trammell to 299, Speckle. I mean, that's that, uh, that's kind of what I love. I, mean, I guess you could say this with any sport, but, but I mean, you know, there's something, there's something like you can discover something new. I don't know why that was like that. So you can discover something new or something that hasn't happened in a zillion years could happen at a game that you are at. Which, which makes watching sports incredible. You'll see something that just hasn't happened. Oh, was it his first time? Okay, so there you go. Not only 6,882 at-bats, but it was the first time it happened. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like, think about how many times you see just any batter, any player, pop out to first base. You know, just like a, you get jammed on a pitch, you pop it right to first, you know. First baseman jogs over to the dugout, you know, catches it against the railing. You see it all the time. There's Brian Mata, 9 out of 25, orange shimmer for Ryan and the Red Sox. And for, a, and for an everyday player like Joey Votto? It's pretty crazy. I mean, I guess that really just shows... I guess that just also shows just how incredible Joey Votto is, right? Like, he's not popping out to first. You know what I mean? He's either getting a base hit, he's on base, there's Vlad Guerrero Jr. to 150, Atomic, or he's taking a walk, something like that. He's like not even putting himself in the position to pop out to first base. He's not even, those opportunities just are, are rare. That Atomic's for Darren McKenzie and the Blue Jays. Rex, Rex is saying, remember before breaking existed, before eBay? How much pools Bowman Autos were worth? He was the first huge modern day card. That's actually a pretty good point. And before eBay was what it was today. And there's Dom Thompson Williams autograph for Josh Reich and the Yankees. You can see that movement down there. You don't want to distract the hitter at all trying to distract the pitcher. Way down the line, here's the next pitch. And that caught the outside corner. So the count level two and two on Goodwin. Deuces are wild. Two and two to Goodwin for the Angels. Two men on, second and third. Two outs. Next box. Three boxes to go. Game tied, 10 10. All right, 
next up. Uh, no, black gold. No, this is going to take us right to the end of the show. Trendsetter. Right until 11 o'clock Pacific. So no, that will be going off tomorrow. Rex, next time you uh, next time you see the boss man, you can pick his brain about about the uh, 10, 15 years he spent at Beckett as the price guide editor. Seventies and eighties, I think. The Angels have tied it up, but they Goodwin strikes out and that ends the inning. They'll have one more chance in the bottom of the ninth. <laughs> Eric, like Beckett's like Playboy. You just read it for the articles now. They do have good, they have good, great staff writers that do a lot of great articles. There. Next box, we're almost there. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. Atomic for the Friars. That'll be for Mark Matheson. No auto yet, Mark. Got three autos to go, though. There's Daniel Johnson to 499 paper. Peter Lambert to 299. You remember bugging your mom to take you to get you a Beckett? She had to drive about 45 minutes both ways just to get a Beckett? Oh, man. Yeah, I remember getting Beckett's too. I remember my parents not buying me Beckett's because it was like too expensive for a magazine <laughs> or something like that. Like, how come you don't want to read like a Newsweek or something like that? Why are you reading about baseball cards? Who cares about that? Read the news, Joe. Camera focus. There we go. Camera's tired too. Definitely running out of steam. And Chance Adams to 499. Is an autograph for Josh Reich and the Yankees. Rookie auto Chance Adams. So the Yankees with a couple hits in a row. Thank you. 
Box two. Well, that's a good mom, Rex. Yeah, one of those things where, where though, my mom grew up poor. I want you guys to grow up like that, so. Leave you wanting nothing. All right. I break these a lot slower than your friends at Precious Metal. Really? How 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 long did it take them to do to do a hobby? Do they have help? I got I had I, sh I should do some market research. This is about as fast as I can go at this time of night. I'm exhausted. I I start the day with a full tank and I make sure I deliver a strong show to you guys. Leave everything on the field, you know. So by the end by this time of night. My, my, my battery is almost at like 5%. And then I recharge. Then, I, then I'm back 100% when I start the day. Try to deliver the, deliver the entertainment for you guys. But late at night, I can't do it. I guess it, I guess it must be the, the CM. No, they don't do a. That's false. They do not do a jumbo case in about twenty minutes. One person, or do they have help? That's impossible. Do they just not show cards? They just flip. They must not show anything. Thanks, Nancy. Be a nicer job if I can pull you some hits here for the Royals. How about that? No. Listen, they, they do it their way, John. We'll, we'll, we'll stick. We'll do it our way. As long as, our way still keeps the lights on at Jaspi, so I'm okay with that. And they don't show cards. So that's why. Yeah, if I didn't show cards, yeah, I could blow through this pretty quickly too. But then you know what happens? We get emails on. I don't know what cards were shown. Why come you didn't show the cards? Oh, look at this. Red. A train whistle always adds a little juice to the batteries. Huh? Huh? Orioles? Michael Booth, Rufy, Orioles. Two out of five. Rylan Bannon. Chrome out of that's our second out of five. We had a paper red and we had a chrome red. There you go. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. There you go. It's nice. All right. That's what. That's what. See, John. That's what the. Uh, that's what uh, that's what meth would like you to believe, that if you eat a meth, you can do anything. That's that's what they would like you to believe, but I think that's that definitely is is confidence. So it's like meth confidence, meth courage. In reality, no, you can't fly. No, you can't do Bowman Jumbo in twenty minutes. Your daughter didn't believe you that she'd be scarred after watching them, but now she's scarred. Is this uh, is this the same BTS daughter? Out of four ninety nine, Bo Burrows. Now you just scarring your children left and right, John Samuelson. That, that is on you. It's 
card for life. They'll find a way. They'll find a way to get you back, John Samuelson. Wait till they're wait till their dating age. And the and the the new boyfriend they bring home looks like one of those guys. Then you'll be like, "This is all my fault." <laughs> and Mrs. John Samuelson will be like, "This is all your fault." And John Samuelson will be like, "This is all my fault." I remember when we just used to watch Joe Jaspi. I remember when we used to watch Joe Jaspi and talk about BTS. Um, neither, Nancy. Sorry. Not yet. We still have two autographs to go. One in this box and one in the last box. Oh, okay, okay. I see you, John Sams. You're exposing them to the world, so you want them to have street smarts. To avoid... <laughs> to avoid... Well, she laughs now. She's only in fourth grade. Then all of a sudden things happen, you know, and then you'll be like, you'll be like, oh, there's Michael Kopech. No, John Sanders will not be like Michael Kopech. Out of 150, blue chrome. That goes to David Duffy and the White Sox. I don't know. One day, John Sanders, you never know. She'll just be like, man, dad's really annoying me. You know what? I'm going to start, I'm going to start dating the guy that he doesn't like. Date a precious metal guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she sees the evil of eating a meth. She doesn't want to eat a meth. Don't eat a meth. That's listen. There, there are plenty of other ways to have a good time. But that's just rough. That kind of stuff is rough. Stay away from that stuff. Plenty of other things you could do recreationally would be fine, but the M, the the CM, not good. No to the no to the H. No to the CC. There's Cabrian Hayes, Atomic. There's Esteban Floriel. And that is that. Last box. We made it, folks. We made it. Looks like we made it after all. Those guys seriously? <laughs> They're fine. I've, I've met them before. They have a small daughter that's very cute. They brought him to the national a couple of years ago. Met him at the panini party. Said hi. I think they're too big for the national. I think a lot of Braves aren't going to nationals as much anymore. It's just a lot to, unless they're local. It's a, it's a, or they can drive. For anyone who has to fly, it's kind of rough. Like grabbing, like taking all your gear and hauling, even if you can get inventory out there, to still do everything out there. And then you pretty much have to ship out there. Otherwise, you're not going to be shipping for a week, right? And then everyone gets all like bent out of shape. They're like, "Where's my stuff? It's been like a week." It's like, remember we were at the national, <laughs> and we just flew back, you know? Like so, we're shipping now, and they're like, "It's been a week though." You should like get this stuff in a week. And I was like, I know. This is what we get for going to the National. Wasn't the National fun? It's like, yeah, it was. But where's my stuff? So then, so. Scarlet says they have ADHD. Who is, is Oh, Scarlet. That's the name of your daughter. I see. I thought, well, like, what's Scarlet O'Hara doing? Scarlet Kennedy O'Hara... No, there's more, right? No, Scarlet Wilkes. 
Scarlett O'Hara, Wilkes, Kennedy, Butler. Did I get it? Right? Or did she never marry Ashley? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get crushed in in uh in the Gone with the Wind pub quiz. Get crushed there. I'll be like, Joe, come on. You're the weak link in this one. You're the weak link. Gone with the Wind pub quiz. Just like how just like how we thought we were gonna be great at Star Wars pub quiz. I think that that's that's a it's a great set of names right there, John Sams. I like that. I would have I would have gone with Scarlett O'Hara, Wilkes, Butler, Kennedy, Butler, <laughs> Samuelson. But you know maybe Margaret Mitchell is not your not your uh, not your gal. Also, I think uh, I think ADHD could be the symptom of the 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 the, the, the M, right? The, the CM. Fifty-four out of one twenty-five. <laughs> SRS loves the BTS. Remember, remember the uh, John Thomas. Remember the SR seventy-one Blackbird. Really named after ScarJo for reals? That's a great name too. That's a good. It's a good name. I think that's her real name too, not like a stage name or anything like that. All right, where's the last autograph? Show me. Survey says, last autograph. Survey says. Show me Cedric Mullins. There's Cedric Mullins, rookie autograph for the Orioles. Michael Booth with the Baltimore Orioles. Rufi, oh! Nice one for the O's. There you go, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for staying up. Thanks for staying late with me. This is our last break of the night, finishing just on time. Got to clean up the store, shut it down, do the break log. Blah, 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 blah. Do we, do we have a one of one here maybe to close it out? I need a focus right here. Give me a focus here. Thank you. Parallel, one of one parallel. We got two out of fives. Show me one of one. Survey says... Family Feud, one of my favorite shows, ladies and gentlemen. There's a game game show, top five, top five syndicated game shows. Family Feud, number one, right? Sports Sports Jeopardy with Dan Patrick, number two. Jeopardy with Alex Trebek, number three, and then Wheel of Fortune, right? Right with Pat Sajak. But Steve Harvey, Family Feud, especially Steve Harvey, Family Feud era, number one. I was never a Price is Right guy. It's okay. I have a friend that works on the show. It's great. It's fine. But Family Feud. If my friend were for Family Feud, I'd be like, whoa. We should get the we should get the Jaspi family in on Family Feud versus another case breaking crew. Do that. Who would I have on my Family Feud team? I would have a. Uh, I'd put John Samuelson on that team. I'd probably put Rich Schmidt. I feel like no stuff. Put him on a team. What else I have on a team? Maybe Boombox. Mark Glassman I'd get on the team. I feel like he, he's got some knowledge too. We'll have to, we'll have to create the, uh, the, the, family, the Jaspi Family Feud Fab Five. We'll work on that tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. No, not a fan of Deal or No Deal. 
Press Your Luck is not currently syndicated, though. I don't think it's still alive. All right, that's it, folks. Recap video coming up after this. Although, if you're watching the replay and you got all the way this far, you're like, oh, there's a recap video? We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.